Uh, the second result and the second article uh, was uh, uh, is uh, the multi-temporal and line vector analysis on intertropical mountain in West Central Mexico. This is for hazard management. Uh, was published on Journal of Mountain Science in June of this year. And it's, it's also available for you uh, as an introduction. Um, we know that landslides are frequent in slow uh, processes that occur in, in, this, in that kind of mountains, intertropical mountains. Uh, we also know about the condition and trigger factors because I already mentioned. Um, uh, knowing the spatial distribution of that processes is, is important for this assessment and management. And this is represented in, on uh, landslide inventory maps. Uh, in Mexico, uh, in the, that uh, zones, intertropical zones, are affected by uh, intense precipitations and um, some others uh, refer and state that uh, it's important to do that kind of um, research and um, just works about the um, spatial temporal uh, prevention and mitigation um, in order to uh, reduce the disasters effects. Um, in Micho uh, the state of Michoacan is uh, represents uh, uh, an intertropical mountain zone in Mexico and is also affected by tropical cyclones. Uh, and there is a structural tunnel that is located there and that is. Uh, Called the uh, Pico de Tancitero, and um, we um, we took that that place as our um, studio. What we made um, at first, we we, we made a landslide condition. We um, described and analyzed the landslide condition factors. And the second stage was uh, multi-temporal and by inventory. The condition factor um, um, uh, were work at um, detailed scale, as you can see in this slide, and uh, were geological, geographic, geomorphological characteristics, low aspect vegeta vegetation cover and land use, and uh, follow the method for evaluation of susceptibility hazard and risk due to landslides um, of these others. Um, about the multi-temporal uh, was a construction uh, made from um, file work and visual analysis of satellite images uh, and aerial photograph uh, from uh, 1995 to 2020 and uh, were described uh, using the classification the classification of landslide um, of crude and environments um, and before uh, after that we describe the type and uh, material data and speed of occurrence this is the the inputs that we use uh, they are mainly maps uh, they were mainly maps articles and satellite images and also order photos. And for the condition factors were uh, geology, geomorphology, ethology, land cover, and land use. And those are the inputs for uh, multi-temporal imagery. And we classify the, the landslide processes and uh, considering, considering their type, uh, flow and light, material and velocity. And this is the story area. Uh, it's located in the central west uh, of Mexico and uh, into the Michoacan state. Um, it's also part uh, of the Trans-Mexican Volcanic Belt and Michoacan Guanajuato Volcanic Fire. Um, that means that we have um, monogenetic volcanoes and uh, polygenetic volcano. The Pico de Tancitero Strato Volcano is a polygenetic volcano and a paricotin volcano that is the most famous continental uh, volcano uh, that is here in Mexico. Uh, 
uh, is a monokinetic uh, volcano. Um, around the, the Pico de Tancito Stratovolcano, are, we, uh, we have uh, um, urban localities, uh, and the most representative is very bad. <clears throat> Um, about conditioning factors in, in the geology represent a chrono, is represented by a chronostratigraphic map and that is a compilated map um, and the most representative here is that we have the Parico team and Astillero and Pedregal activity that is the uh, their activity is the most recent in, in the into the area and the um, at least the, the three and periods of activity uh, of the Pico de Transitor or Stratovolcan that are represented by uh, pink. And we can see also the collapse zone and the avalanches, and the two avalanches. And this is the description, the, the most specific, the more specific description of any of uh, any of the of the units. And the main composition is andesitic and the city basaltic rocks. Um, quaternary rocks. And for uh, the morphology, we have um, mainly mountains. Mountains are, divide, are divided by summits, valleys, and, and slopes, uh, following by high hills and low hills, uh, piedmonts, plains, and valleys, Flu fluvial valleys. And the most representative here is are the, the high hills and low hills. And the, about slope, uh, the most predominant slopes were very, very steep and steps that um, are located in the Pico de Transitero, Stratovolcano, that is in the center of the map. And the main aspect uh, were uh, north and south. Uh, about the soils, we have um, uh, andosols, uh, mainly andosols. And in the, in the top of the mountains, uh, we have uh, leptosols. Um, about land cover and land use, the uh, land use, the most representative land use that is in, 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 in yellow, it's um, a volcano agriculture. And about the land cover, we have um, mixed forest and oil field forest. Finally, uh, what we found about the multi temporal and live inventory, um, we found um, 505 landslides in general, uh, divided in slide, slides and, and flus. And um, those, uh, those were classified as extremely rapid and rapid uh, processes. Um, we also uh, found uh, um, we also describe the, the their extension and the number of events uh, per, per per year uh, or per period um, and uh, we also observe uh, recurrence processes as you can see in the image and uh, we have a uh, the, the uh, flow a debris flow uh, so this 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 flow green and uh, more recently more recent we have a debris flow so this is the reference that we that we observe in this in this area uh, we made a, a analysis a comparison and an analysis between the 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 um, polygons, the landslide polygons, uh, with the conditioning factors, and we found that the landslides um, were developed uh, on flanks of Pico de Transito, mountain fluvial valleys, and volcanic cones, and they are mainly oriented to uh, south southwest to northeast and southeast to northwest 
and uh, they are associated with the local fracture system and were developed on step slopes and oriented to south, north, and east, uh, on and the city, and basaltic and city rocks, uh, and the soil and leptosols and mixed and oyamelic fir forest. Mm. This is, this is a map uh, I took some picture from five work um, about the chicken factors. We have the, the we, we made a, 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 a earthquakes analysis and there is no antecedent, there are no antecedent earthquakes uh, in this area before and during the, the processes and the earthquakes that Mm, has been registered in this area uh, are considered as micro earthquakes or mi micro systems. And its magnitude is, is uh, low than um, 4.5. And the main uh, trigger factor were torrential rainfalls caused by hurricanes and tropical storms. And um, they are almost the they represent the uh, 11 to uh, 16 dot, uh, dot five of the annual rainfall in this area. So conclusion, uh, um, we documented uh, that it's possible to, uh, to study the distribution, topology, uh, velocity, and composition of uh, from the from the geographic perspective, and um, we observed that our, the, that kind of studies are uh, few and lack uh, in these areas. Um, we also identify the higher relative, uh, the, the classes with the higher relative importance for future assessment, as uh, for example, susceptibility and hazardness assessment. And uh, all this information uh, could uh, support uh, uh, land use planning and disaster risk management in intertropical mountainous areas. Um, thanks you. Thanks for your attention.